Right, we are foregoing our usual intro today of uh, starting it up because I had to do a lot of configuration to get this game uh, looking good or working right. This is a Poppin' Music 6, this is a PS1 try, game number 394. And this is a rhythm game, uh, usually played with like a fancy 9 button arcade controller. I, I don't have one of those. I always wanted one of those. And since high school I had thought about building one I never have. I'm not a liar. Always for a long time I've wanted one. And um never built a poppin' music controller. I have built a uh, hitbox fight stick, which is what I'm going to be playing this game on. It has ample buttons. Um, what it does not have is the ability for simultaneous opposite cardinal directions. So there are a few things when I'm in nine button mode that I can't do. There's a, be a few like jumps or whatever where I'm, there's two simultaneous buttons that my controller won't let me press together. Uh, we're gonna start in five key mode because uh, I fucking like rhythm games. I want to play this a while, but nine key mode is hard, and most of the rhythm games I play are. I play like a lot of four key Debt Mania and Os Mania. So I'm gonna play songs that are familiar. Here we go. Like this shit that's in DDR. I haven't actually tried five key mode, but I hope it's not a new configuration. My mind is a. There we go. You remember this uh, song from DDR Cole? I want to say it started in Max 2, but it might have been Extreme. One of the things I was trying... Uh, before I settled on using my hitbox, I was trying using a regular fight stick uh, with the joystick set to be two of the outside buttons, and I didn't like that. Uh, but when I get Beat Mania again, I've gotten one Beat Mania. When I get another Beat Mania, I think I'm gonna play on my fight stick and have the joystick be the record. That seems like a really fun approach to that. Yeah, Pink Rose, we, uh, I feel so good. did poorly, but we passed it. And in 5 key mode, I don't think anything's gonna be, uh, rated as super difficult. If there's any more DDR songs. I know I played uh, Dyke and Kai and some other. I was trying things. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. 
stupid music stick. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't have a... I probably should have tried to grab another copy of it because this has like a disc change mode. Oh. I was on the wrong keys. The song fucking uh, rocks. Watch this whole video get fucking muted. And I'm sure that my taps are super audible on my microphone. Sorry about that. The difficult thing to avoid. I'm like playing under my desk to uh, mute it as best I can, but. I love like this genre of music is like U.S. hard rock, dramatic, romance kayo, street music, power folk seven, eighties pop, ever pop, ska. Here we go. Let me make sure I'm back on the actual game keys. Ska ska number three. Holding a combo. That track did not use many of those, uh, blue buttons. We did it. We beat Poppin' Music 6.
Game over. No, it's not really. Well, I mean, it is a game over. Yeah, and honestly, yeah, we can we completed an arcade course of it in a five key mode. There's certainly more of the game to see and play. That was just normal mode. It's also expert and challenge mode. We select that. Honestly, I want to warm up a little bit more. We'll do one more five key mode. Um, just doing harder songs. <clears throat> Which I guess is just going to mean any of the three stars. Here we go. See what U.S. hard rock. Shark was over there just uh, shaking his butt that whole time. Really grooving with that U.S. hard rock. I feel so good. There was one thing that band sounded like it was American. about this Scottish music but here we go so far none of these five button things are getting super complicated
Another weird one. Can't pass it, yeah. Ends up in the red zone at the end of it. That's all you need. Fill up that groove gauge. Max out my tonight stats. Yeah, I don't know what it means when it's saying new. Hey, there's Daikang Kai. There's a DDR song. Here's a song that Here we go. Cole will remember from DDR, but it sounds like he is in the uh, kitchen right now and won't hear it. Alright, that's going to do it for uh, regular old arcade 5 key mode. There's one more 5 key mode in challenge, which I think is where it'll start adding like weird random modifiers and stuff, and some of those things will help, and I actually kind of want to uh, start playing on high speed anyway. Yeah. Challenge has a 5 key mode. Yeah, it would be nice. Playing on the real controller, they're all the buttons are the same buttons as the buttons, but we Nice. Maybe we actually just chose to do it without any weird challenges. Or maybe it'll pick some for us. We'll see. 
I think it's going to be like a competitive mode, although maybe not, no. Definitely. Could have full combo that. Yeah. All my Norma points didn't do anything to the track. Because I don't know what any of the buttons mean because I'm not using the same controller as that. And... What's my L1 button? Too high speed times four looks like. See if it's actually too fast for us. On something we haven't done. Modernism. Here we go. Into some modernism music. Feel like it is not applying that four times speed. Oh, here it comes. Oh, that's not too fast. That's like the speed I would play that mania at. Switching between the two is uh, what's tricky, but this music is so weird that this da 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 doesn't really matter how fast it's scrolling. You know, to just go da 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 whenever the song goes. Yeah, normal points. 
Let's see some of the other. See if we can find like a really interesting one. Some of these are just like you need more points to pass it. That's not very interesting. Hell. All good? You have to get all good? That sounds hard. We'll see what Excite and Hell do together. On our final five key song, the poppin' music sticks. Here we go. We'll try some Scottish by the original Cedar Pipe Band. Notes are actually changing where they are on the thing. Interesting. Cool. Oh, I was not in the groove gauge. That's it for challenge mode. What a shame, we gotta add the uh, four more keys now. It's gonna be a lot trickier. I only practiced a little bit with the nine keys. They didn't want to. I don't know. I felt like it was cheating to practice too much. Sympathy music. Here we go. Okay. Nine keys now. By Egoistic Lemon Tea. As long as the usual day.
The yellow keys are on my ring fingers. The white are on my pinkies. And this shouldn't, I mean, this should be a thing I'm hitting these buttons with my hands if this were in the arcade. But right now, the green buttons are my middle fingers. Yellows, my rings, my pinkies. Blues are my pointers. star song. Good for me. Now, I've been looking forward to popping music. Ooh, four star song. What's not? And another one star song we haven't played yet. Oh. Here we go. J Techno from Act to Deft. Yeah, so we'll see. The result of uh, I can't do left, white, and green together. I can't do red and uh, left yellow together. Because red is my uh, jump button. Or my up button, rather. Up on the D-pad is my big red button. It's the hitbox. That's, you know, jump button. that combination shit. I do have a few unused buttons. Oh, there's like, yeah, there's three buttons. I guess six, maybe, that I'm not really ever using. But I have the nine I need, and I could double mine them. The game would let me do that, but I have my heart set on full comboing that track ever. I'd have to do something like that. All right, you know what? We're ready for a, a two or a three star song. Here we go for some country music.
Ah, disoriented. I came back at the end, though. Track of the button, my mind and my fingers. The wires got crossed. Well, there really is just no substitute for like the actual controller with the buttons and the layout. The tracks were meant to be played on. And they're just such big, satisfying, like clicky arcade buttons that you can like run with your hands and yeah cool we just uh we should at least give nine key mode the same two normal um attempts before we jump over into expert mode which will only be nine key and might have us failing pretty quickly. We passed a two star song, we'll try another. Try some pop beats. Here we go. From skin pay. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't have just the uh, intuitive sense of where all the nine buttons are to do that. I bet some of those, like, streams are so a lot more fun on a regular controller than... I bet they could be fun on this, too. I just don't... Uh... Well, I guess it lets us play all three anyway. If that's the case, let's look and see at how hard the harder ones are. Here we go! In challenge mode, I bet we'll actually fail us when we fail.
I'm just gonna let this scream and look at it. This is one where I really want it to be scrolling faster because I can't tell if those are meant to be jumps or not. on a controller, I would be probably not able to pass this right away. That's pretty neat. And of course, like Beatmania and like a lot of the ones that are in DDR, it's got the key sounds, so you're, you know, it kind of feels like you're actually building the track. Playing it. Oh, okay, that actually did. And so let's go into a challenge mode before we say goodbye to Pop and Music 6. Yeah, there's another uh, game over screen. I love to see it. We select Oh wait, we've not We select Expert mode. And these are preset courses. Ooh. Hell, this is probably the hardest thing you can do in the game right there, I bet. Hell this day I found. I get a bunch of really hard force. Alright, was there a two? Alright. One star one. Whoops. That's the yeah, but... Four stages in a row. Here we go. And oh, there's tracks that weren't available. Right away in the arcade mode. So yeah, there's there was shit to unlock. So it's a shame that we don't really get to see that necessarily. So, 
Can I not get life bar back and I can only lose it? It's gonna make this mode quite challenging. I feel so good. So maybe I'll recover it, but I'm kind of surprised that even between that it doesn't uh, transition between stages more seamlessly. Like DDR's non-stop mode. What? Boo! That was the end of that song. And so many more greats and cools, that's a bad sign. Uh, well that's it for the arcade mode then, I guess, of... Oh man, all those songs were new. I wonder if we unlocked any of them in the arcade mode. We'll never know. We've exhausted all our tries within the arcade mode. I don't think there's any other play mode. Well, I'm going to double check. Uh, right, free play training, which is nice if you want to just look at stuff. Uh, record, save and load. We we'll might uh, make your own courses. And this is the thing I wish I would have prepared. I think we can then just play previous mixes. And if previous mixes don't let us remap keys, then we're gonna come back to them and play them in this, so that we can at least still play on this controller. Maybe over time, get better at it. Then we're gonna go ahead and look at free mode. And see how free it is. Seven keys. We select you. Us, there are. Uh, there's definitely a lot more songs to unlock that get even harder than what we have here. Here we go. It's weird that we're searching by genre when every song is its own genre, but. Oh, and it shows you what the other keys would be. I wasn't ready at all for a seven key mode. So the seven key mode is just like the nine key mode with the two outer lanes turned off. This is just free play mode. I'm just gonna let this scroll and sound like garbage because, uh, you know, we're missing a lot of the notes. Oh, 
play the green notes. As you can see, this game does get a little bit difficult, and by the uh, the scale of the stars we saw in that free mode, this song fills up the difficulty chart halfway. So, certainly you can imagine at some point it just gets pretty, you know, you're just doing complicated rhythms across nine different buttons for two minutes. It's uh, essentially a very hard video game. And is the end of the PS1 try attempt of it? Uh, it's not the end of PS1 try today. I'm going to be back with a second game in about two minutes.